Hello and welcome back to. I bumped my headset. That's great. Um, returning to what I was saying. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Wind Waker. Um, in the last episode, we rescued Miss Tetra over there with the spiky lightning bolt hair that I can't see. And we now need. Well, our sister got kidnapped. Can't forget that sister got kidnapped. Holy crap! I. I don't even know, guys. Um, basically, Tetra's not going to let us leave for the Forsaken Fortress to rescue our sister until we get a shield. And as you might remember, hi Grandma, there's a shield up here. What is that, Veda? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? She's still playing outside with the gulls? I'm sorry, Grandma, but she's gone. Like the shield. What? Okay. Grandma, you moved. Avera. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You're the hero shield! It's the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. Link, break the pose, man. I guess it is true. Yo really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Great. Those motherfuckers made grandmother cry. They're gonna die. Let's go get these bastards. Wait. We have something that we need to do before we go and get these bastards. First, that. Second, get my fucking money. <coughs> Ow. Come here. Get. Come here. Cooperate. Why? Did you bring me another piglet? Oh, were you all worried that this little guy would get lonely hanging around and hanging out inside the fence all by himself? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard! Thank you so much for bringing us yet another new family member. Here's a little something for you. You're gonna eat him. I know you're gonna eat him. You... You animal! You find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Did something happen to you? You don't look well. Well, somebody's observant that there was not a just giant catapult and birds and shit. Okay, hold on. We're going to use this telescope to see if we can't spot. I found the bastard. The demon is over there. Let's go get it. Pays to be thorough, you know. Literally, like like she gives you twenty bucks. <laughs> shit. I figure I should show this just in case somebody watching or has played the game or whatever. Or hasn't played the game and is playing along with needs to know where the last pig is. I am going for a hundred percent after all. Get your ass back here. I don't want to sneak up. See? I didn't sneak up. And I had no problem with it. Hey man, you should get a sword. It works better. Okay. So this pig is like the result of interracial pig cest. Shit! No, no, no. No, no, no. You're swimming the wrong way. You're swimming the wrong way. You're swimming the long way. You're swimming the long way. Ah, uh, water controls are really, really touchy. Fuck you. Fine, let's go. If you want to go that way, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Okay, well you know where the pig is. If if you don't, if you didn't know, you now know. Now we have one more thing we need to do. While we're here, it would just be much easier. Since I believe we can only hold max 100 rupees at this early stage of the game, we're going to go and spend some in the Beetle Shop Ship. Say hello to Beetle. Welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? 
Oh, just use the controls like the browse, because everybody has one of those. 20 bucks. We need to buy a bait bag before we can even buy anything else from this guy. You got the bait bag! You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. There's eight pouches for storing bait. There's Y, Z, or I. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty much how you use anything. Thank you! You're the greatest! They'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you, I'll have you know. Now, you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, just use that to browse. Yeah, we're gonna buy some more. We get three servings out of one... Oh, purpose bait. Purpose. Per per purchase. Um, we can use this for feeding animals such as the pigs, rats, seagulls... Some of the monsters are actually susceptible to it too, because I'm sure that they just, you know, don't get their healthy serving of little girls. I came out wrong. In any case, we're going to just keep doing that. Now, hoi, hoi, pair. Look at that, look at that, look at the face on that thing. These things are used, I think, only have one, they only have one purpose. It allows you to take control of seagulls. Yeah, no, 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 like seriously, you, you become the seagull and you fly the seagull. Oh, I am so tired. Um, no, 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 no. I know. What was that all about? I'm gonna buy three of each, which is actually nine for the red things, but whatever. Bye! You're ridiculous. Okay. So now that we got that all sorted out, and have ten bucks, I probably could have bought one more thing just to round off my money to a zero, but whatever, I'm not that picky. Let's talk to Tetra and get on that boat. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. I'm sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Oh, whatever. You're ready, then let's go! Are you ready? Yes! Good luck, Evita! Good luck finding Errol! Take care of yourself! You take care of your snot kid. How much longer is this going to go on, you think? I have an estimate? Well, excuse me, Tetra! You sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? No, I'm 14. I can do this. I'm a man! Well, what? Vita, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck, get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Ah, uh, Nico's... Nico's... Ugh, he's the one that I thought was a rat. Rat in human form. I don't want to talk to him. There's a barrel in the corner. Hey, what? Um... um. Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in, don't you even think it! Well, you... got your sexuality decided, don't you? You're probably wondering why we treat young Miss Tetra with so much respect when she's clearly so much younger than us, aren't you? Now, I won't go saying this in a very loud voice, but while she may look young, Miss Tetra's actually 35! <laughs> That's a joke, Shrimpy. 
I suppose it was just chance that we lost our last miss when Miss Tetra was still young. Ooh, fate is cruel, she is. That's why Miss Tetra took over so young. She owes it to her predecessor. Everyone's come to respect her for that, for coping with so much at such a young age. Respect has nothing to do with how many years you've been on the earth. But you're probably too young to understand that. I'm 14, how many times am I going to say that? Jesus! People just don't understand me. Me and my teenage angst. Oh, well now, hoi there, Swabby. As of today, <coughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test that all pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. Watch everything I'm about to show you. Real careful, like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt, mushy, swabby brain. You know, last time I checked, never mind. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt the control stick up to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Is murder outlawed? Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself. The next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use the control stick to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform and then press A to let go and jump to it. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. And the platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get or get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. I'll give it a try. This going to be worth a chuckle or two. You're a dink. I can do this. I can do this all night long. Actually, you know what? I'm a little nervous about the timer, so we're gonna turn it off. You know, I wonder how big this boat is to have giant s screwing and unscrewing platforms in the bottom of it. But, whatever. I'll just keep my ideas to myself. Ninja! Oh, shit. This was a great start. Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it over here. Falling isn't part of the program, Swabby. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. When you're hanging onto a rope, you can hold R to t and then tilt the control stick to change direction and then tilt the other direction to climb up and down. Try it if you don't like the angle of your next jump. <sighs> yeah, 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 I know. Basically, I suck. Okay, we're gonna give this another shot. Go! And go! Jump, yeah. That should be good. Go! Oh god, I gotta be more patient. I gotta be a lot more patient. And then suddenly, this turned into a platformer. I should reset the timer, but you know what? I'm feeling... No, no, I'm not feeling rebellious. I'm gonna go back and reset that timer. Damn it! Let's... Spend more time... Second episode. <laughs> I think I left that last episode a little bit long. Oh, don't do it again! Okay. I think I left that last episode a little bit long. Uh... I don't know, um... It, they probably won't normally be that long. I kinda let that one drift a little bit more just because it was the very first episode and there was a lot of intro cutscene. It's That was fucking close. So, if you didn't like the length, I'm sorry. But... Uh, they'll probably be shorter. They were they're definitely going to be my longest episodes for an LP thus far. Yes, even next to Portal. Some of those took a long time. No! No! Yep. 
I better be cutting this. If I forgot to cut this, this is gonna be retarded. I better be cutting this. I swear to god, if I didn't, I'm an idiot. No, you're an idiot. You just take so long, you just let yourself forget. Cause you're lazy sometimes. And when you're lazy, you don't cut your video. When you don't cut your video, they have to sit there and watch you fall on your ass all day. Okay, and we're back. Alright. Go! No! Come on, swing! I don't want to go to that last platform, because this is obviously much easier. Swing! And go! Right at the very apex of the swing. What? You did it already? Wait, you expected to actually stand there for a year? I... Uh, I'm proud to have you as... As my underling! Uh... I... I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. How are you gonna take it before someone comes? You are a suspicious little rat, aren't you? Barrels, chest, look at the spikes on this bad boy. You should probably be more careful, Link. You're going to stab yourself in the eye. You got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight types of items. Hold up. Okay. I'm okay. I think oh, I drank all my pop. Hey, Avita, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. Ah, I'm gonna run all back. I wonder. Nope. Fuck. I am such a disgrace sometimes. What am I up to? Okay. I had to cut some of that, so assuming I wasn't retarded and forgot to, which I've done lately. Um. I should still be able to keep going for a little while yet. Besides, we're the Forsaken Fortress. That would be a pretty shitty spot to leave a cliffhanger. <sighs> hey, Yavita! Here I am! Up here! Get some sass, woman. Let me up. Hello, boy with a book. Goodbye. <gasps> it's a full moon! She brought me up here to moon me. Ha! 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 No, that wasn't funny. Excuse me, ma. Ooh, new soundtrack. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game. For treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the Cursed Isle, known as the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, shit! That thing is the epiphany of imposing. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that, lo is that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now, the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Now, I don't think it's ever actually mentioned, but this giant bird right here is actually called the Helmarok King, if anybody's interested. I like to call it by its name, not just the giant bird, because that seems a little bit too vague. Ah, I knew it! Look! Over there! By the window! Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'll be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. What do we do now? I don't like that look. Uh, what? No, 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 no! Not okay! What did you slip into my drink? And why are you using it for this? I have other ideas that you would... Ugh. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. The pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Everybody ready? 
Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you good. Three. Two. One. I'm fucked. Face. This is the Forsaken Fortress. Well then, that was interesting. Your <laughs> sword landed all the way up there. Shoot! I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was off a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. I slipped a stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing to the stone, and you obviously can hear me through it. So, if you see a flash, you better press that button. Put the stone in your quest status screen. Press start. Use L and R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need his back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Yeah. You know what? Speaking of start, I haven't saved yet. Yes. No, I don't want to play anymore, guys. So please over. So, we're going to need this. It looks ridiculous. You can call me Solid Link. That sounds like... That sounds like some sort of techie kind of thing. But, basically, they don't notice when there's a, a barrel that's wandering across. Because it's not in the big shiny yellow light. Okay, go. Flee! Oh, that was close. All right, let's just walk in the front door now. They can only see you if you're in the yellow light of theirs. But we're gonna need to do something about those searchlights before we can go wandering around freely here. In fact, we can't wander around freely at all. We don't have a sword to defend ourselves with. What the hell? Ah, the rats are here. Ugh. Well, we're gonna try and head this direction instead. See what we can come up with. We need to get higher up to be able to knock out those searchlights. We got... Is there a bad guy around here? No? Okay, good. We're gonna be need... Really? We're gonna need to be extra careful in this area. There's... Ugh! Whoa! There's mini assassins! Those things are called mini blends, I believe. You know, instead of bokoblins blends and like mini blends. These are moblins. These are some of the more common, tougher enemies you'll face. And I really... I'm undecided if I think they're smart or dumb. But basically, if you move in front of him, he's going to see you. You don't have to be within his light. He will see you and he will smell around the barrel if he thinks it's suspicious. So this has turned into a patient waiting game. Look at those jowls flap. Oh, look at those things go. Oh, <sighs> Okay, he faked it, he caught me. I'm done. Game over. Actually, face down in the dirt in the jail cell instead. That's just great, isn't it? Oh no, I'm going to forever rot in here. Because, you know, obviously the door is locked. So, there's not much hint except for, you know, if you look from the side, there's a hole in the wall. So you break the pot like a badass and get your yellow rupee, which look really shiny in this game. And we're gonna crawl our ass out of here. I really hope I don't have to do this often. I'm not very good at this place, as often as I've played this game. This is my least favorite part of the game, because I hate being defenseless. We're gonna smash pots because we're rebellious and make noise. But, yeah, I'm basically... I'm not a fan of this place. At all. Although getting thrown in the jail seems to have turned out to our advantage, because there's a treasure chest here. I think we're actually above the room that we were trying to get into as well. This is really weird how that turned out. Dun -dun -dun -dun! The dungeon map. Green area is the ones you visited. The flashing area is your current location. Yeah, okay. So, we're gonna take a look at this. We're on the second floor. These are all the second floor rooms. 
These are all the first floor rooms. Um, I think this is, yeah, this, this dungeon map is only for the interior of the fortress. Hopefully it'll still tell us where the outside is as well. Well, I guess you can see the outline of the outside part of the fortress anyways. I'm just going to get confused. And we're actually going to drop down there because oh, there's a jail cell. And we want to get inside. Yeah, there's a jail cell and you can see... Wait, where is it? Am I somewhere? Oh yeah, you can see in the left side of the screen. Top... Fuck off! I can't defend myself! There's a... There's a chest there. And because I have the screen angled like this, you can see there's a switch here surrounded by all these barrels. So, switch opens the gate. Even though the gate is made of wood and you see no wires anywhere, you obviously know that a switch would have that sole purpose in life. You got a piece of heart! Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equals more life. Fantastic. So we got a very first piece of heart as well. And I'm going to jump on this table while I do my outro. Because that's enough for this episode. I don't want them to drag on too long. So, as I sit here and stretch, I will see you guys in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Bye-bye.